As a famous saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. This Ramadan, set yourself a plan that is both achievable and beneficial. You know, the simple act of writing a plan will in fact help you manage your time and ensure that your goals are met and that you leave this month feeling accomplished. For example, write down how much Qur'an you want to read this month and set aside time to do this each day. Tip number two, manage your time. Your time is the most valuable asset that you have this month. And if you manage it wisely, you will reap the rewards. Avoid wasting time on things that are unbeneficial, like hanging out, excessive iftar parties, watching TV, and addiction to social media. You know, when you take advantage of your spare time and use it to perform acts of worship, such as salah, reciting the Quran, and dhikr, you will experience the beauty of this month and you will feel closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you find yourself sitting with nothing to do, you can say adhkar like Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, and Allahu Akbar. You know, these words are so light on the tongue, but they are very heavy on the scales. Tip number three, consistency is key. The most beloved deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those that are consistent, even if they're small. Yes, even if they're simple and easy to perform. So as long as they are consistent, and this is your secret to success. You know, Ramadan is a perfect time for change. Develop a good habit. Apply a new sunnah this month that you know you're going to be able to continue not only throughout the month of Ramadan, but also in the months ahead. Tip number four, seek out the right environment. In the same way that a plant requires the right amount of water and sunlight to grow, the environment that you place yourself in has a very big impact on your iman and how it will grow this Ramadan. Make an effort to attend salah in the masjid. Join a Qur'an halaqa. Seek out gatherings of knowledge because these are the environments that will help you make the change towards the better. Now finally, push yourself to the point you surprise yourself. Never ever underestimate your potential and always remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you this opportunity to shine. The more effort that you put in this month, the greater the benefit. I mean, think about the forgiveness of sins, being saved from hellfire, becoming closer and nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make that your motivation to keep going. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you all success this month and may he be pleased with your fasting and worship. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.